evening. Thanks so much for joining us on a Saturday night. I'm Hannah Adamson. Confirmed COVID-19 cases in the United States continue to grow as more state officials take steps to prepare for what may lie ahead. That's our top story at 10. At least 234 confirmed cases of novel coronavirus across 27 states is now being reported here in the U.S. On Friday, the first COVID-19 case in Omaha outside the National Quarantine Unit was confirmed when a 36-year-old woman who had recently traveled to the UK tested positive for the virus. Meanwhile, two COVID-19 related deaths on the East Coast were also confirmed Friday, both victims in their 70s with recent overseas travel. Vice President Pence now discouraging elderly Americans from taking cruises. He's now in Florida discussing the state's handling of the virus's spread. It is the heart of the cruise line industry. We recognize that. It's a destination not just for Americans, but for people around the world. Uh, and I know to date, Florida's efforts at preparedness on the coronavirus have made a difference. Siouxland health officials say it's important to follow CDC guidelines regarding COVID-19, but also not to panic, saying the risk to Siouxlanders is still extremely low. To learn how you can help prevent the spread of the virus, just visit our website right now. That's SiouxlandProud.com. Someone who attended the same conference as President Trump last week has tested positive for COVID-19. The person visited the Conservative Political Action Conference in Maryland in February. President Trump and Vice President Mike Pence were both in attendance. However, the president and VP did not interact with the person who got sick. That patient is now getting medical care in New Jersey, and the CDC confirms that person is infected with the virus.